hi all so welcome to this channel and today in this video session i'll discuss uh, how to debug the sql udf that is user defined function which we are writing so let me show you the demo so we can see we have this sql udf and uh, i have already created a video over this uh, that you will find the link here on this video so this is an sql function which basically let me brief, uh, quickly brief you this is an sql function which takes input as id and returns a character means it returns profit or loss and here you can see it uh, determines whether uh, based upon a particular pro id uh, whether a profit happens or the loss so there are two table in pictures these two where sales and purchase amount is uh, there so they will be used to calculate the profit or loss and now uh, basically we are here to just let uh, you know that how we can debug the sql udf so first thing is to create this so udf udf 17 sorry easy class one So you can see this is now created successfully and let me show you the main thing uh, which is used to debug the SQL UDF. So this was the function and this is the specific name. So if I do work object on this specific name you can see a service program object gets created just, just do dsp srv pgm on this service program object and you will find this procedure name so basically this is the procedure uh, which is called when we execute this sql uh, function from this service program now here you can see i have mentioned the sql properties and the set option these are the SQL properties which are used for this functions uh, basically language is SQL specific name this is the unique name for this service program this is not deterministic the result will be not deterministic for every run and will be for every execution or invocation of this function the, the function gets called and it will not uh, return the, the result from the catch not fenced means it will not run in the thread reads sql data yes returns null on null input so on null input it will return null so the basic the most important thing here is set option so where uh, i am mentioning debug view as star source so that the uh, debug view is generated for this and a listing we are using output star print so we are forcing to uh, generate the listing as well now if i show you here you can see this function is created now you can see a corresponding C object gets created C uh, printer file source gets created here is the listing now see this is the compiler listing for this so c source uh, was created for this and in case say for example this one where 
the same function is this and here I am not using any uh, debug view star source that is set option let's compile this now you will see there is no source listing generated for this so we cannot debug this so let's work let's do work object profit loss so this is the service program and if i want to debug this sorry it's a service program so we need to mention here so you can see program this cannot be debugged just because there is no debug view source generated for this just do end debug now compile the 17th udf where debug view star source is specified this one now if i try to debug this oh sorry not this one So you can see the source here and we can debug this just by putting the breakpoint but we need to call this uh, from some program so we just end debug this here I will show you one program so which is basically calling this function profit underscore loss and passing the several parameters to this 1 2 3 and null so if I'll show you this has 1 and 2 ID this 2 has 1 and 2 so 3 is not there and null is not yes null or null null is written here also null is written because it won't find the data there so you can see I am calling this function using uh, this way so here uh, the important thing is we don't need to bind that service program because we are calling the function now so this saves one step and uh, just we need to set the source debug view for this program itself now just debug this program UDF1 PGM2 just at the breakpoint and call this UDF1 PGM2 program now you will see the id is 1 now so you are passing the id 1 to this function now just do shift f2 and just add that service program profit loss here and just go to module and put the breakpoint whatever lines possible just do shift f2 again and come back to the original result just do f10 now you can see you are on this function so you are basically debugging the udf now so 
so let's see what you received idf you this okay just wait in this one that is profit and school loss dot idf is basically you are getting one as an input these are right now null now select sales into sales f from this table where id equals to one so we'll get i think 2000 this one this uh, 5000 School D. So you can see five thousand is there as sales and purchase is three thousand for ID one. Let's move forward. Purchase F is three thousand. That's right. Now if sales F is greater than purchase F, yes, then profit would be concat this with the sales f minus purchase f that is profit loss now becomes profit of 2000 that would get returned to us now it's returned so you can see when we pass id1 and we see that id1 has a profit of 2000 means name one person one has a profit of 2000 now if i pa pass id2 what i would see here I receive 2 and sales for that person is 10,000 let's quickly recheck that's 10,000 and purchase is of 50,000 so it's a loss I think so purchase is of 50,000 just it will check this condition and it will go to else and purchase minus sales happen and it would return the loss of 40,000 so you can see it is returning the loss of 40,000 now so for id3 it won't find anything it's still null because we didn't initialize and it's also null so it so these conditions failed but these are basically set to null so they won't receive these things and you will be receiving the null so you will be receiving you are basically getting null but you are not getting the correct result here just because the data is uh, not updated here so we need to update the result field here in the calling program so that we should get the correct data or we need to handle uh, this thing in our program uh, we need to initialize these variables with some values that is either zero so that if they do not find anything they would execute uh, part that the data want so we can make a condition here and that condition would get executed that in case if uh, there is no uh, id exists then it would simply say so we can uh, have a if else section here so it's just to show you that how we can debug this you can code your uh, functions as per your need so let's move on now this time i'm passing null so you can see when I pass null this function would not get called once I take f10 it directly comes here it won't get to the UDF source because I mentioned I explicitly mentioned one point and that is returns null on null input so it won't call this function and it would return the null which is not reflected here as I as I already said we need to initialize this correctly uh, in this program so here this way 
uh, we are turning from the program so this video was more basically focused on how we can debug sql uh, udf you can uh, make changes to your sql udf or you can write any sql udf and you can debug like this so basically you need to call that sql udf from an rpg program and uh, just debug that so uh, i think this video will let you know how you can debug an sql udf so that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time